Hello, you lot. How you doing? Hope you're well and dandy. Woo! It's a, what is it, Sunday morning? Um, I've just finished filming, actually. I've just finished filming a video telling everybody how to start up their engine. Any problems, because I keep getting messages saying, uh, oh, I can't work out how to start my engine. Um, you know, there's problems with it and all kind of gay things. And... Um, <laughs> and uh, so I filmed a little video um, going through all the little issues that you might come across. Uh, only the ma only the simple ones, the major ones I left because um, they're a different video altogether. But when I took the shell off this MP9 and I saw the air filter, I was like, holy crap, dude, what have you been breathing in? That's a bit crazy. So I thought we'd take it apart and I thought you could, uh, if you're bored enough, you know, you could watch me clean it. I thought we could have a little chat, even though I'd just be talking to myself. And but that's what I always do. You know, even when I haven't got a camera, and I talk to myself. I was walking around a shop the other day, and um, I was just talking. I was going, "Oh, look at that! That's a nice bit of bread. I like that. Oh, I think I might get a donut. What do you reckon?" <laughs> and a woman next to me went, "Oh, yeah. All right, that's a good idea." I went, "Hey," eh? <laughs> and she went. You asked me if you should get a donut. I said, did I? She went, yeah. I went, oh, bloody hell, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, what a crazy life it is, eh? All right, let's take this off. There we go. Got two filters on this MP9. Lovely. Look, the inner, the inner one, that don't need to be cleaned. Oh, that's brilliant. That's perfect, the inner one. Look at that. We can stick that back on. I have noticed, let me, uh, I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute, you look. But I've noticed the... the what do you call it? The pipe has started to perish, which ain't very good. Oh, I don't even want that perishing. Fucking hell, start sucking in all kinds of crap, wouldn't it? Um, I'm going to use a bit of this. I've got a bottle of this laying around. It's about 600,000 million years old, um, but uh, I've got a bottle of this. I'm just going to use a bit of that. I don't care about it as much as the other stuff. The other stuff is bloody expensive. Um, but this stuff, uh, I think it came with a nitro. Actually, I think it came with. Remember when I bought that Savage 3.5 from the uh, sister-in-law's husband? That he didn't want it in the end. I think um, look, this fuel come with that. Look at that. Look how clean that's got now. Woo -hoo! I love the feel of these sponges. Do you know what Kyosho? They they give out good quality things, man. The air filter sponge is bloody fantastic. God, I'll tell you what, this is cold. Oh, look at that. That's what come out of that air filter. Lovely, man. Oh, you could put that in the barbecue, couldn't you? What's this all about, then? Look, a bit of caked on grease or something on there. Did you know what was the biggest iceberg in the world has completely broken up? I just heard it on the radio. That's uh, that's very crazy. It's a shame, man. As much as I'm not a big fan of being cold, I like icebergs. So. Well, that's clean. All right, I'll stick that on there for a minute. What I forgot to do was get some paper to dry it with. So here's my paper. <laughs> here's my uh, towel, whatever you want to call it. Some people put it paper towel, didn't they? Paper towel? What's the matter with you? We're not in fucking America. Dry that up. I might get out and run this MP9 at some point, but I haven't had the time really to do anything. I'm having a massive clear out of indoors in my home and uh, and it, it just everywhere in the garden and the home, all over the place. It's uh, you know, big clear out time. Get rid of loads of crap <laughs> and uh, replace it with new crap, basically. So uh, I'll right, put that there a minute. Got to go and find something to put some oil in so I can oil it up. Um, two minutes. All right. Well, I couldn't find any little tubs that were clean, and uh, so I thought, you know, fuck it. It's just. Put a little bit of this down. Prop that on there. 
Four ninety nine. I paid for that. I bought. I've had this air filter off for years, literally years, because I've never used it. So there you go. Oh, it smells good. Bit of air filter oil, lovely. Everybody loves air filter oil. Squeeze a load of that on. Oh, so cold. It's gone proper stiff, man. That's it. That's enough. That's enough. Holy crap. Oh. I think we've got enough on there, don't you? Holy moly. Work all that in. <laughs> I think it's going to be a bit over oiled, this filter. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that's enough. Stick in. Look at that. Woo! I don't know about air filter oil, I'm an air, air filter stick, I reckon that is. Anybody want some air filter stick? Yes please. Oh, uh, here have some. Put a little bit more there. That's it. Cool. It's like glue. Oh, and it's gone off. Oh, and it's been sat in that toolbox for so long it's gone off. It's literally gone off. I never used this one before. I had a, I had a different uh, bottle of air filter. I forgot I had that one. I had a different bottle of air filter oil, and it was more gooey. You know, not gooey, more uh, like oil. Just rub it in, and that was it. It wasn't sticky like this stuff. This stuff's proper sticky, man. Never used that brand either, so it might be how it's meant to be, like. But God, look at that. <laughs> love it, eh? We love it. All right. I'd say that was oiled pretty unevenly, so let's put it on. Everybody loves an uneven oil. We've got an uneven oiling, people. An uneven oiling. Da -da -da -da. That's it. Stick that on there. That goes under there like that. Lovely. Make sure we've got more underneath. Oh, come on. Stupid. That's on. Ugh. Well, there certainly ain't going to be no dust getting past that, that's for sure. Get that back in there. Get me a little cover. Look, it even says Kyosho on it. I love this. I love Kyosho, man. They're the nuts. They are, aren't they, eh? They are. They are. Don't tell me they're not, because they are. You tell me they're not, I'll tell you they are. I'm trying to do this with sticky gloves on, because I don't want to get sticky on my hands, see? Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck you, you fucking bollocks! Fuck you, you fucking gay. Right, that's it. There it is. It's all right, don't panic. You're not. I got it. I got it. I got it. In we go. In we go. Woohoo! Everyone loves a bit of screwing in the morning. What's the time? 39 minutes past eight. Whoop dee. Shame it ain't the type of screwing I'd like to be doing at 39 minutes past eight. But there we go. Let's stick that in now. Up tight. Yep. Ooh. Done. Once that's settled down, that'll puff down a bit and maybe well away. Oh, I'm so happy. Woohoo! We get rid of these sticky gloves now. There we go. So there we go, you lot. I just, uh, that's a, a big puff up, be alright. But I've noticed it started to perish a little bit. Can you see? It's starting to perish on there. That ain't good, man. That ain't bloody good. This MP9, I've had, how long have I had this? About a year? <laughs> about a year old I think I might have to see if I can get hold of another one of them for when it goes I can put it straight on I don't know don't know what that's all about but what are you lot doing this Sunday today um, it's uh, Sunday the 18th of April do you know what my birthday's coming up 30 years ago 
nearly in two days, in 30 years ago, in two days' time, I'd have been born. I'd have been coming into this world. I'd be like, hello world. Oh man, imagine that 30 years ago. Holy crap. It's a long old time, isn't it, eh? 30 years. Oh well, never mind. Yeah, so I'm just sort of chilling out. I thought I'd do a bit of that. I just filmed a video trying to explain to people. Because I keep getting messages, you know, how did my, my natural energy won't start. I love helping people. That is, to be honest, that's my biggest downfall. I'll help everybody and anybody. Um, and a lot of the people, a lot. Of, I'm not saying these people won't, would never help me. Because a lot of people are offering me help all the time. It's not aimed at these people. But I'll help everybody and anybody. And a lot of the time, they won't ever, never think about helping me back. You know, um, I think there's a quote I put up on Instagram because it was true, so I put it up. Um, uh, my problem is that I'd I'd go to the end of the world and back, the end of the universe and back. In fact, for people that wouldn't even go to the end of the street for me, and that's true. Um, that's the reason why. Ah, someone said, so, somebody said, um, you seem down. It's so sad that you don't have any friends. I don't want friends, man. They're all dickheads. All the friends I've had in the past. You know, I put all my time and effort into helping them out, and they don't do the fuck all back for me. They never would text or call me. They'd always go out and go to events and go to things, go down the park, do whatever. And I'd be sitting at home thinking, oh, <clears throat> I wonder what they're all doing today. I'll have to give them a ring. Give them a ring. What are you up to? Oh, we're down the park. Oh, we're at Silverstone. Oh, I didn't know you were going there. Oh, didn't you? You know what I mean? I just thought, fuck this. I don't need no friends. Don't want any friends. Okay, I don't want any friends. I've got everything I need. I've got a wife. I've got my kids, my family, and all that. That's all I want. I don't want friends. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah. So someone said you seem down. <laughs> nah, I'm happy without them. And uh, I just think when I put the comments up about friends, that's the past because they're all dickheads. Some friends are good. I've got two friends. I say I haven't got any friends. I haven't got any friends because I haven't seen these people for a long time. But there's two people. Um, that I've been friends with through right, you know, pre primary school, preschool, play school, whatever you call it. In America, it's kindergarten, isn't it? I think. Um, all the way up to when we left senior school when we were 16 years old, and after that, when we used to do motocross, um, when I was 17, 18 years old. Um, they're the only two people that I've still got contact for because they were all right. The other ones. You know, uh, all knobs because they just don't, didn't give a shit about me. So it is what it is, man. It is what it is. But yeah, anyway, that's that. <whistles> Lovely jubbly. All right, I'll catch you later on. You look, that was just a quick one. I thought you could just sort of hang around if you was bored or give that a bit of a clean. Who's been checking out um, Colin Ketley? Go and have a check at Colin Ketley Mowers. Now, what's he call himself now? Not Mowers Sport. Colin Ketley Doing Stuff, I think he's called his channel now. Go and have a look at his channel. Because he's got some RC um, cars he's been digging out recently. He's got RC boats, RC cars, minis. I think he's got a Subaru or something he had. And uh, he's getting a lot of RC stuff, digging it out. So go and have a look at it because it's interesting to have a look at. I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video. And you can go and have a look. And uh, Colin's a nice bloke. He, he gave me a, a rotivator a while back, a few years back. So I had a rotivator I wanted to get working. He gave me one of them. So I can nick some parts off of it. Um, I bought him some things off of his Amazon wish list because he's just a nice bloke, you know. I've been around his house. He lives a fair, fair bit away from me, but yeah, go and have a look at his channel. It's a nice channel. And uh, I'm going to put this back together. I've got some other things to do today that won't be going on this channel. I've got to dig up a Christmas tree. I've got a Christmas tree growing in the garden. I'm out of focus. I've got a Christmas tree growing in the garden. I've got to dig it up and put it in a plant pot so I can move. I've got a big, like a wooden playhouse that I built for the kids. Um, I'll show you. So I've got a bit of washing hanging up there, but I've got this um, playhouse that we uh, built for the kids or started building it. Um, but I need to move it, so I've got to dig up. There's a Christmas tree growing there for some reason. I'm going to dig that up and save that, put it in a plant pot. And then I've got to try and move this playhouse out a little bit so I can go and fix the roof because the roof's gone a bit dicky. That bit there's leaking. The felt's a bit crap and it's caved in a little bit, so I've just got to try and move it out. But that's one of the jobs for today. Well, like I say that won't be going on this channel. If I film any of that, it'll be on the other channel. So anyway, I'll catch you later. You're not all the best. Nice not seeing you because I can't see you, obviously. You're on a camera. You know what I mean? But enjoy yourselves, all the best. 
and uh, oh, loves loves to enjoy it. So have a barbecue. I'd love a barbecue. I haven't got one. I'd throw it away. I might go and buy another barbecue. All the best, you lot. See you later.